Is that Chris? Man, what is good, YouTube? <laughs> Y'all already know who it is, man. It's your boy Jay here, man. I'm back here with another video, y'all. And today, oh, man, we got a crazy video to talk about now. Nah, it seems like in today's classroom, y'all, we got Atlanta rapper T.I. on the roster after he been trending on social media, after people are accusing him of telling them to everybody in Atlanta and getting them took down by the police. Now, I know y'all like, what? Where this come from? Man, this is crazy. Now, before we get into this little crazy video, y'all know my routine. Just hit that like button and smash that notification bell so that you can be notified anytime I drop a video. And I can just keep y'all updated on this whole situation in general, bro. Y'all got me? I bet. Now, basically, man, what we got going on. As I just said, y'all, uh, if you look up T.I. on Twitter, anything on social media, man, T.I. is trending because people are accusing him of telling. Now, if y'all know what's going on um, lately, you know, uh, if you haven't been living on a rock, Atlanta Police Department has not been playing. A lot of rappers have been getting arrested. There's been a lot going on. You know, um, a big event is the YSL Rico getting hit. You know, everybody getting arrested, including the boat, big artists, um, Young Thug and Gunna. Include more little artists like Slime, like Shaw, and just a whole bunch of people. Now, you know, Lucha ain't got arrested. And, you know, um, just a lot of rappers are getting arrested in Atlanta. Atlanta is not planning. They plan on saying they got two more Ricos coming, uh, two big other operations. And it was a whole list, and they had a little baby group on there, a little 4PF, and they seem like they're not playing. Now, a blogger that goes by the name of Gossip for the City put out a tweet yesterday and said, a rapper is helping the Atlanta Police Department take down everyone because he don't like how Atlanta has turned out. It's supposed to be a place for blacks to thrive. Now, I know y'all probably like, okay, just because a blogger said it don't mean nothing. Let me tell y'all something on some real stuff. And this comes from another reporter on YouTube. I'm not a blogger, but I'm a reporter. This is somebody, this, this is not your average blogger. She knew about the Kevin Samuels death before it even hit worldwide, like real deal. Like when I tell you she be putting out news three months ahead and it somehow like come out true months later, like this is the goat of blogger. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Now she put out that and who the first rapper that come to y'all head? Exactly. Everybody on social media instantly went to saying T.I. 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 Now, let me start off by saying I'm not saying that it's T.I. Because I don't think that's right to just say, oh, you know what? It's T.I. Because, bro, we don't know, like, you know what I'm saying? 100%. I see people, you know, saying that it's T.I. And they trying to throw me. I'm not doing that. That's not cool. And that's weird, to be honest with you. Now, I will say, you know, um, <laughs> I'm going to just say the record straight on here. I'm not saying it's T.I. Now, a lot of people are really trying to put it on T.I. because of these two little clips right here. We commit crimes against them off the streets. All you got to do is call Crime Stoppers Atlanta. Tips can be anonymous and there's even a reward. The number to Crime Stoppers Atlanta is 404-577-8477. That's 404-577-TIPS. Channel 2, community coverage you can count on. And it, when everything else goes away, when you don't get treated right in New York, when you don't get treated right in LA, when you can't get treated right in Detroit, when you don't get treated right in St. Louis, when you don't get treated right in, the, in Alabama, Atlanta has been here for us. This city don't deserve it. However, I understand that a lot of others do, but we can't do this here. This is Wakanda, it's sacred, it must be protected by being born. Now we all know the infamous um tip commercial, you know, with Kodak them. I think Kodak them exposed it. Um him saying like he was like did a commercial saying um stop crime, like a crime stopper commercial, and I think Gunner had one too. And a lot of people instantly were like, you know what, I'm convinced it didn't the whole situation. Now the second video ain't enough evidence, but I will say, you know, um I don't think it's T.I., but him doing all that, um, this is Wakanda and Black and this and that. And he even had a tweet long time ago where he was saying, like, um, when King Von lost his life, he was saying, like, stop coming to Atlanta. And um, what did he say? Stop coming to Atlanta. This is where we love each other. We don't come down here to kill each other. That's corny when the people in Atlanta be getting killed all the time. Um, regardless, he made himself, like, getting his image because he make Atlanta look like it's just so perfect and it's just kumbaya, black love. And when in reality, we all know that that's just not realistic. It don't matter where you at. No part, no matter what part of the world you at. As long as there's sin in the world, it's gonna be crime. So that just that whole narrative he's trying to make it look like everybody just kumaya and they don't beef. Um, that's a whole contradict because you can literally see Lucci and wife, you know what I'm saying, Lucci and 
Young Thug going at it. So it's just like, bro be doing too much. He too deep in. But I will say, you know, it's not right to just say it's him. But I will say also another person a lot of people saying was Killer Mike. Now, if y'all know who Killer Mike is, he was a rapper from like back in the days. I don't think he rapped no more. Um, you know, he played in a couple movies. He's like a, a, a real activist, you know. Um, he's very, 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 very active in Atlanta. Um, especially right now. He's been at the way before it became a trend to be active. You know, he tried to um help out the Atlanta community, do like little food drives. He seemed like a good guy, but a lot of people feel like it was him too now. Me personally, I don't know. But I will say, you know, um, as a rapper, if you a rapper and you're not rapping about that no more, you and you change your lifestyle around, okay, I get that. But if you just a a, rag, a rapper that's just in the city and you telling not I'm not mad because you quote unquote snitch because I'm not a street guy, but that's a hip like you've been a hypocrite because Nine times out of ten, you in Atlanta and you are a successful rapper. We all know what you rapping about. So you rapping about what literally people are going to jail for, and you know it's, it's just like you contradicting yourself. Now a lot of people are saying under three thousand, but I doubt under three thousand even got anything to say about this. That man be in his own world. He don't worry about nobody, and that man literally don't even be paying attention to what's going on on social media. I thought bro passed away. I'm gonna be honest, but. Um, as y'all see, bro, uh, people think it's T.I., but I just want to ask y'all, man, and y'all let me know because I want to make this video long. Do y'all think it's T.I., or do y'all think that people are just hating on, bro? Do y'all feel like um, what they doing is right? Because don't get me wrong, Atlanta definitely, compared to other cities, is, is definitely more, um, a, a, a little more unified. You know, a lot of people come there to change their lifestyle, but Atlanta, the narrative is changing. Atlanta getting expensive. It's a lot of beef going on. It ain't what it used to be, man. But y'all give me y'all thoughts and opinions about this in the comment section and let me know. Y'all think it's a little tip, man. Do y'all feel like it's somebody else or whoever y'all think it is, just put it in the comment section. Let me know, man. Y'all already know who it is. It's your boy, look, it's Jay. Thank God for another day, man. Y'all be safe. I love y'all, bro. God loves y'all more. Um, and yeah, bro. <laughs> I'm out, man. Bank it. Hey, and I'm gonna address this too. I'm gonna address this too. Uh, all y'all niggas on there talking about a crime stoppers commercial and all that. Look, man, if I can if I can get out from up under 20 years for doing a drop, nigga, you can't convince no nigga to snitch. If he was gonna snitch, he gonna do that when he woke up, whether he watched the commercial or not. I don't care nothing about that. The question is, how much, how many, how much information have Tip ever given any police to get anybody locked up? Zero. So that your mama sideways up. Anybody got anything to say about me and mine? I got my paperwork, nigga. So I don't want to hear none of that. Party, nigga. <laughs> I don't want to hear none of that. I don't want to hear none of that. <laughs> you and your life, nigga. You see a snitch, nigga. Slap him when you see him. Knock his nose off. So, nigga, next time I'm out, instead of asking for a picture, like a little, come on, knock my nose out if you think I'm a snitch, nigga. Nigga, come on, nigga, quit.